Hello guys and welcome, it is that SRB2 dude here today bringing you yet another Splatoon 2 video for you today in the most in real life fashion. As you can see my hands moving side to side and all that type of stuff. <laughs> I don't know why I just did that but anyways this is basically a comparison video or slash versus video to, for you guys to decide what controller is best for you? Is it the Joy-Con Grip Controller or is it the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller? So basically in this video I'm going to be talking about the specifics about how the controllers feel while playing Splatoon 2 and basically the pros and cons with both controllers because these two controllers both have positives about them and negatives about them so I'm going to be going through everything with you. So the first thing I feel like I should do is go over the Joy-Con Grip. Now the Joy-Con Grip very much like uh, the Wii U gamepad, I actually have this right here. For those of you who have played Splatoon 1, you'll probably remember that this was the big old thing that we had to play on. Uh, actually, I'm, not, I'm, I'm saying it's a big old thing, but it was a really comfortable controller at the time. Like, everyone, no one really complained about it. Uh, besides of that, you know, it was a little bit heavy and stuff like that. And the battery, of course, ran out very very quickly. Uh, we, it probably like lasted like an hour and then we had to recharge it every single time. But the reason for why I'm bringing it into this video is because the Joy-Con grip specifically has that same type of feel because you kind of hold it the same way as a Wii U gamepad so if you play with motion controls you can probably get the same type of feel of the truck driver method that I've uh, explained before where you have like the controller flat and then you can just turn left and right and stuff like that. Uh, it has that same feel as a Wii U gamepad, which is why it's very, very good in that aspect. But let's talk about the buttons of the controller. So, first of all, the analog sticks and the, you know, the pressing analog sticks, they, they're alright. They don't turn as, I guess, fluidly. It feels, in my opinion, it feels a little bit strange compared, I guess, compared to the Pro Controller, but I'll get uh, further into that. Uh, you've also got the buttons of the controller. They're very much like the Nintendo 3DS or Nintendo DS uh, buttons and a d-pad as well very much the same like that and you got the basically the back buttons you got the two left and right buttons and the two l and r triggers they're very like they're much like uh the 3ds as well i mean how of how they feel uh they just basically just click in they don't go too far in but they just click in but to go over the thing about playing splatoon 2 with this specific controller now as i said before it's very much like the wii u gamepad of the same type of feel uh, when playing with motion controls like some people like I guess some people play with motion controls like this uh, Crazy people, but if you're used to it, then that's you in it um, But as I said before the majority of people who sp played Splatoon 1 uh, Were very much used to having the controller like somewhat flat like this So it has the same feel uh, when playing with motion controls and stuff like that So if you were to make like a right turn, it's just the same types of movements and it just feels uh pretty good in that aspect that's why people favor it but there are some cons about the joy con grip controller that's kind of funny joy con you know it's nintendo of smart people smart people this is why there's a pro controller but my issues with this specific controller is the positioning of the stick and the button placement so if you notice the stick and the b button are very very close together so once you've got your hand on the stick uh, i mean it could be just a thing that i have a big hand but like it's very, very close to each other. It can feel a little bit uncomfortable, like you're trying to have to reach over or use your thumb to reach over the stick to actually try and press the jump button because the jump button is right here. So in that aspect, it does feel a little bit awkward and it's not as comfortable personally for me. I mean, it, if you're comfortable with it, that's you. But personally for me, I am not too comfortable with the Joy-Con grip controller. If anything, it'll just have to be something that you'd have to get used to. So you just have to get used to being able to click into the B button and trying to not click the stick at the same time because that's the problem that I've run into a lot of the time. When I'm trying to press the jump button, but I'll be pressing onto the stick. And again, it could just because I have somewhat of a big hand. So it's not great for someone with a big hand, definitely. Uh, another problem I feel is that the left stick can be sometimes a little slippery or sometimes a little bit uh, inconsistent, I guess. Uh, it's mainly because like when I try to press forward, I sometimes feel like my when I'm pressing forward in Splatoon 2 that I move left and right and I kind of scroll around and it's kind of hard to actually accurately uh, direct my player to actually move in the way I want it to. Uh, that's something I've really noticed a lot of the time when playing the with the Joy-Con controller. 
and always and I always find myself kind of fighting with this left stick just trying to accurately put myself to move forward properly because I don't want to be squirreling around because especially if you play with motion controls and you're squirreling around with the left stick it's gonna affect your aim which is not optimal so but definitely I do feel like the Joy-Con grip controller is a great controller it's definitely because it's reminiscent of the of the Wii U gamepad and it, you know it just has that same type of feel of when you're playing motion controls it just it just feels like the the old Wii U gamepad which is really nice so I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of Splatoon 1 veterans uh, who played Splatoon a lot and just didn't get over not being able to use a gamepad I wouldn't be surprised if they were using this because it feels pretty much like the same now moving on into in my opinion the greatest ever controller to be ever created the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller now there's a lot of good things I have to say about it and of course there's some bad things I gotta also say about it as well but let's talk about the Pro Controller now just having it in my hands it's very very comfortable the thing I especially like about it is the button placement so let's talk about that so of course you got your you know the same left and right stick uh, one thing I've noticed with the left and right stick is that there is a little bit more uh, there's a little bit more to work with like you, as you have the Joy-Con grip controller because when you press forward on the analog sticks you're pretty much already at full speed of whatever you're uh, directing it to but with the pro controller you have a little bit more to work with like you can kind of push it slightly up and you can be a little bit more accurate of how fast you want to move with your uh, analog stick. So there's a lot more to work with and you can kind of define how fast like you want to move your camera left and right. How fast you want to move forward and back and strafe and stuff like that. One thing I love about the Pro Controller. Uh, another thing is the button placement. As you can see with the Pro Controller, the A, B, X and Y buttons are on the right side of the stick. Compared to the Joy-Con grip controller. Uh, the Joy-Con grip, uh, like directly, you know, the, the buttons are directly over the stick. But why I love the Pro Controller to have the buttons like this is because it's a lot more comfortable. It's a lot more. I can just kind of shift my, uh, my thumb onto the stick very, very comfortably. And I can just put my hand back on the stick just really easily as well. So that's why, I, that's just one thing I really like about it. We can talk about the back buttons as well. The left and right button, very, very easy to press in. And the left and right trigger. Very, very easy to pressing as well. It feels very, very nice. And it has this small curve on the back of it. I mean, I think the Joy-Con... Actually, no, the Joy-Con grip has that as well. With the Joy-Con grip, you kind of have to reach a little bit lower for that right trigger. But uh, with the Pro Controller, it kind of just fits into your uh, index finger right here. It's just very, very easy to handle. But playing Splatoon 2 with the Pro Controller. Now, I will very much say that the Pro Controller has a much different field compared to the gamepad. I'm not going to lie about that. I often feel I have to hold my controller upwards just a little bit like this. So that I have to make left and right movements like this. So it's kind of like a completely different controller and a completely different feel uh, compared to the, like the Wii U gamepad and stuff like that. But of course, again, it's something you're going to have to get used to. Uh, and once you do get used to it, it's a very, very pleasant experience. One thing I want to talk about is again is about the stick. Because remember when I said with the Joy-Con grip when using the analog sticks, it feels a little bit squirrely when you're pushing forward and sometimes you're moving left and right. Well, with the Pro Controller, it feels a lot different. Like it feels more accurate in my opinion because you're able to kind of direct exactly where you want to go. And I just feel with the left analog stick alone, it's just such a better experience. Like I feel feel more in tune with the game. So I guess one thing I don't exactly like with the Pro Controller is I guess the truck driver method that I've explained in uh, previous motion control videos. I feel that it's a little bit awkward when trying to turn left and right. I mean, I've tried as hard as I can, but in Splatoon 2, it doesn't feel nearly as good when doing it on the Joy-Con grip. Uh, I feel like the Joy-Con grip definitely wins in that type of uh, way of playing. I feel like with the Pro Controller, you're gonna have to hold the controller slightly upwards like to play like this but to be honest me talking about all this stuff is actually just personal preference now there's a lot of good things about this controller and there's a lot of good things about this one but all in all it does come down to personal preference personally for me i have so much more success on the pro controller and it's kind of obvious to me that nintendo deliberately did things to the joy controller uh that are significantly worse personally for me 
compared to the Pro Controller because the button placement is perfect in the Pro Controller, but the button placement here, I mean, it's ex it's extremely hard to even play claw. Like some people like to play claw grip, which is when you're having your index finger on the button so they can press like that, so you can hold the stick at the same time and shoot at the same time. Uh, it's a little bit different and it's very, very awkward. I'm not going to lie. But when playing with the Pro Controller, it's much more comfortable. Uh, as you can see right here, you can press all the buttons just like that, and it's just like that. Easy. Personally, for me, it's easy. But again, as I said before, every time and then, this is entirely personal preference. Now, I'm not going to say the Pro Controller is better than the Joy-Con Grip. I'm not going to say the Joy-Con Grip is better than the Pro Controller. Personally, for me, I feel like the Pro Controller is better because it works better for me. But the thing is, it may be different for you. With the Joy-Con grip, it could be a completely different experience for you. Uh, maybe you have slightly, uh, your hands are uh, smaller or something like that. So every, the complete feel for the Joy-Con grip just feels better for you. But for someone with big hands like me, uh, the port control is just a much better experience for me. So entirely, this whole thing, this whole versus thing, it's always personal preference. So whatever you decide to choose, just at least take the time to experiment to see what is better for you. Now, of course, it's the thing where the Pro Controller costs 70 pounds or 80 dollars, uh, wherever you live. It might cost like a significant amount of money. But if you ever do get the chance to at least try out a Pro Controller, you know, just give it a try. You know, if you're able to refund it as soon as you buy it, then, you know, give it a try. And if it don't fit for you, then get rid of it. Just refund it, get your money back. So, you know, that is pretty much it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please, if you did, please like, favorite, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch. Both of in the description below. Do it for both if you're feeling generous. And as always, guys, this has been that SRB2 dude, and I shall see you guys in a future video.